there and welcome back to Circuit the World. My name's Alice and today we are back for another magical potion. Today is month three of the Cauldron Crow's Magic of Things Purely Potions Adult Cocktail Subscription Box. Damn, that's a long title. And this one is called Lost Time. Now, I haven't already had a look, and it is another long brew one. I think this time we have to leave it for 48 minutes between uh, starting today and finishing it off. So this will be in two parts, um, but I feel better going into it knowing that this is what we're going into, because I actually read the instructions fully this time before we started. But enough rambling, let's get that cocktail box in right now. Probably should have magicked it in Lands okay. You can't really see me. So it's another nice tool like the first box we had, but I have already had a look inside and I have already seen that um, this is another long brew potion. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so this time we have a few other things. We have dreaded coffee filters, which I'm instantly going to do this because there's no way in hell we're using coffee filters after the tiresome effort that we did last time. If you haven't seen it, go check out the other videos in this playlist. It's I mean, there's gonna be some great bloopers come out of it, but it was not fun for me. So we have a, I can't remember what they're called, a punt and malta? Editing Alice is gonna correct me right now on screen. We have one of those, which I know we do need to use for this. We have a little bag of what look like seeds. I will find out what these are when we look at the scroll in a minute. Two awesome little vials. These are actually so, so cool. They're very potion-y. I did say in the last video as well, when we got the peach syrup, that it was almost like having a potions vial and I absolutely loved it. So to get more of these, absolutely loving this. Uh, this definitely looks like it's got a cinnamon stick in it and I can't quite tell what this is. And then for our cocktail gift this month, we have a cocktail shaker. Let's get this out the bag. So we have a cocktail shaker, which obviously comes in two parts because cocktail shakers go together like so. It just says the cauldron, the cauldron.io, and then at the cauldron pub, um, which is so cool. I knew it was going to be um, engraved because that's what it said on the scroll, which I have already looked at because I need to know what ingredients I needed to get, but I wasn't sure that was what was going to be engraved on it. So that's actually a really cool thing. The stainless steel outside is just plain, but the inside, the glass inside bit that comes that you click together, has the cauldron on it. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at our scroll and find out exactly what it is we need additional to all this stuff and what some of this stuff is. So, Wiz Kit Purely Potions Lost Time. Kit includes engraved cocktail shaker, wooden pestle and mortar, that's the words I was looking for, uh, paper coffee filters, which are gone, we don't want those, garnish guide, um, Garnish guide, my Revelio spell, clearly didn't get everything out of the box. Cocktail recipe, that's in my hand. Cinnamon stick, a la vial number one. Um, one bag of Kadamon, Kadamon pods, that's these little guys. And Asham loose leaf tea, which is what's in vial number two. Kit does not include, but will need spirit, dark rum, lemon juice, fresh thyme, sugar, a good sense of fun, ginger root, leche juice or liquor is optional, agosto bitters is optional, and cleaned and empty corked bottle from month two. So what I'm gonna do now, as per usual, is gather all of the things we need so we can get started. All right, we are ready. Now, as I said earlier, this is another cocktail that's in two parts, like the second one was. So we'll start today, and then there will be a change of scenery, change of set, change of everything, um, when it comes to a couple of days' time after the potion has brewed. But for now, let's check out step one. Step one, add three cardamom seeds and one teaspoon of black tea to your pestle and mortar. Grind as finely as you can possibly get. This is gonna be fun. Get this out. This is one of the things I like about them. Like, they don't just expect you to have a pestle and mortar, whatever it's called. Um, they provide you with it, which I think is great. How much do you reckon is in here? Now, I would definitely advise, if you're using, need to measure out a teaspoon, to actually use a teaspoon measure rather than a teaspoon. Oh, shit. That'll do. And now I have to grind as finely as I possibly can. This could take a while. Step two, add the ground spices into your bottle. Really? Break apart the cinnamon stick and add to the bottle. 
Oh. So, I've just read ahead a bit to kind of get an idea of the instructions. It wants me to infuse the drink in the bottle and then strain it out of the bottom. I don't need most of this stuff right now. We're literally already almost done for this part. So I'm gonna try and grind a little bit more then if we've not really got a lot more to do today. So th okay, so we're just making an infused rum. That's what we're doing today. And that's what we'll live in the bottle. So yeah, this is, we're very much almost there. Um, really. So what I'm gonna do is get the filter, the little plastic filter from last time so I can put this in there without any spillage. So, Accio filter. <laughs> okay. So, bottle open plastic thing in and we're going to just tip that in there should all go in there step three add two springs of thyme and two finely sliced thumbs of ginger so um let's say that oh, these are new that's two sprigs of thyme That's two thinly sliced thumbs of ginger. Woohoo. Smells great. Smells really nice. Um, step, no, sorry, still continuing step three. Fill the bottle with the dark rum of your choice. My rum of choice is Captain Morgan's dark rum. Not sponsored. I just like Captain Morgan's rum. Oh dear, that was, don't inhale that too strongly. That was quite pungent. Slightly alarmed. That's pretty much the whole bottle. <laughs> totally meant to use that much rum. Oh, all the bits are floating to the top. Lovely. And then it says step four, let the infusion rest for a minimum of 48 hours and never exceeding 72 at room temperature away from direct sunlight. So what I'm gonna do now is take this out because they need a clean. Pop the cork back on. Yeah, it's kind of got bits floating in it. Uh, I don't really know. I don't think I've put enough ginger in, but I'm always conscious with ginger because ginger's quite strong uh, and I don't want to overdo it. I think there's enough time in there and the other stuff, obviously I think we've got good. But that is where we're gonna leave it for now. Um, before I try again to accelerate time for us to get forwards 48 to 72 hours, but not exceeding 72 hours, to when this is ready to strain. Are we okay? I think I'm getting a bit better at this time travel stuff. We are ready to move on to step five of the infusion process, which is, step five, using coffee filters, strain the infusion and discard the spices. Now, because of past experience, I am traumatized with coffee filters. If you've seen the last video, in this series, you'll completely understand that. But because of which, I'm going to be using a gin strainer. You also saw this in the end of the last video. If you're interested in getting one, go check out that video, and there's a link to it in the description of that video. That video will also be in a card up on the top of the screen right now. So what I'm gonna do is strain this out into a jug, and then empty out the coffee, empty out the gin strainer, sorry, of all the spices. Probably gonna do that a couple of times just to make sure we don't miss anything. Most of the stuff is firstly at the bottom and also quite big, so I think we'll probably get it in the first shot. The other thing I do wanna say is that this one will likely work with the coffee filters, and I'm almost tempted to do it with the coffee filter, but am traumatized by them too much from the last video. I, I just can't, I can't do it, I can't go down that train. So we're gonna use the gin strainer into a jug, do that a couple of times, and then end up with it back in the bottle. Let's go with that. Very unmagically, just gonna just gonna pick them up from the side here. I'm gonna start with this size jug, but it is possible I will need to get the bigger one. I think the supposedly 500 milliliters in here, and this supposedly holds a thousand milliliters. So I should be okay to use this jug. We'll find out together. It smells really nice. It does smell predominantly like rum. Duh, it's predominantly what's in there, but the spices are giving a little bit of a scent. I don't think I need to strain it again, but I will strain it again when I get rid of this and clean out this. Um, one second, all clean.
Okay, so now that is definitely strained out and I'm very confident there's nothing in there apart from what should be in there, we shall return it to the bottle. Slowly. So I don't mess this up. Now that, that entire process done, we can stopper this up because our infused rum is complete. One thing I do want to just interject at this point is that this already is a much more fun experience than the last one was even with the 48 hour to 72 hour wait time between uh, the first part of this and now it's less painful um it was really quick to do the first bit it was even really quick to do this bit and i don't think the rest of it's going to take that long so even though there is the wait time in the middle to make the infusion happen i think still uh, this process and this kind of infusion is much much better than the last i think the biggest fault of the last was that you tried to use coffee filters to strain a very thick substance uh, which is a combination of adding the lemon to the milk obviously that was going to curdle which is you don't taste that in the cocktail at the end no but that is obviously why that mixture was so thick um, and that's why that process took so long because also the tools we were provided with the coffee filters were absolutely inadequate in trying to get that strain that through in anything under four and a half hours so just a point i'd like to make at this point but now we are ready to get cocktailing okay so all of the ingredients we need for the cocktail are to my left all of the things we need to make the cocktail are to my right apart from a glass i've just realized lost time cocktail part two we're ready let's go Step one, add 20 milliliters of lemon juice, 20 milliliters of sugar syrup, which is equal parts by weight graduated sugar to water, and 10 milliliters of water into your cocktail shaker. So, um, I guess, have I got to make up the sugar syrup first, do we reckon? Probably. So we need 20 milli milliliters of sugar, but milligrams. Um, and we need 20 milliliters of water. I have these little spoons, because uh, at the moment we're having some work done in the house, so everything is not where I think it is. And these are the things I could grab first. But I got a 15 milliliter, a two milliliter, and a one, in which we can make 20. So, let's go for 15, two, two, one. And then this is gonna be fun, trying to get the water. Why am I using such a full bottle of water? Well, that's a good question. 15, yes, two. This isn't gonna work. Plus two, plus one. There you go. I don't really know what this is supposed to do. I just say it was sugary water at this point. So, ice is in. We're now going to put 20 milliliters of our sugary water. Making a massive mess, massive mess. Trying to do this really, really quickly. Trying to do this really, really quickly. And I'm making a bloody mess. 20 milliliters sugar, ju lemon juice, and 10 milliliters of water. 15, two, two, one. Oops, that's a bottle bit there. And then the water, we're gonna have to try and use twos. One, two, three, Four, five. Add 50 milliliters of infused rum, which is great because I've got the jigger, which is a 50, yes. I will actually use it this time rather than getting it and just completely discarding it. It's got a really weird scent to it now. In we go. Like so. And shoot. Beautiful. Step three, add 20 milliliters of leche juice and two dashes of bitters. Why is it always 20 milliliters? Do you know how hard it is for me to do 20 milliliters? 15, two, no, well, two, that was the map. Okay, done. And then two dashes of bitters, which are these things. 
which I hope is in that funny little, like a not straight, yeah, one of those. Ooh. Oh, I got it on me. This is turning into carnage quite quickly at this point. My hands are really sticky. Kind of like, that will do. It looks like everything that should be in there. Add ice to your cocktail shaker, which I've already done, and shake and then strain into a glass. I don't have a strainer. I should really go and take this over a sink, just in case I spill it. Okay, I have a strainer, I have doink, a glass, which is probably a bit too big now. So we're just gonna release this from here. Oh, come on. Or do I need to like do it this way? <laughs> come on. Release, damn it. This is stupid now. It should just come off. Okay, that's alarming now. Noise. It's not making a sound, I'm scared. Oh, I did it! I wasn't worried at all. Okay, so my strain is not quite big enough for that, but it's perfect for that, so I'm just gonna decant it back into there. Ooh. Odd smell to it now. I'm not sure I'm gonna like this, but this that isn't really a comment on oh shit. I don't think my strainer really did anything. I'm not sure I'm really gonna like this, but like I was just trying to say, it's not really a comment on them or their cocktails, it's just me and my own personal tastes. But here we are! Here is the Lost Time Potion, a mixture of infused rum with leche juice, which I'm probably saying wrong, and an assortment of other things. It smell I can't really place the smell, if I'm honest. The dark rum was the predominant smell before the infusion happened, but now it's almost the spices that have taken over and I think it's the combination of the cinnamon and the ginger scent that I'm not really falling in love with. But let's have a taste. Ooh. Oh dear. There's a lot of things going on here. I don't know if I like it or not. It's a weird, weird taste. It's kind of like I want to drink more of it, but at the same time, I don't want to drink more of it. I really don't know. But again, like I said, this isn't really a comment on their potions or anything or their cocktails. It's more my own personal taste. It is quite bitter. So I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have added the bitters as well. Uh, that might have been just a bit too much because I think the rum itself now has a bit of a bitter scent and a bitter taste to it. I think that's what I'm kind of dragging out of it. It's not awful. As I said earlier in the video, I think this is a much more successful cocktail kit than the previous one we had. I still personally think that the best one was the first one we had, which was just a little cocktail that you came, you sat, you made, you drank happy days but at least with this one that principle applies in that you sit you make you drink happy days it's not like a very long-winded process apart from the 48 hour infusion time in the middle it's the only thing that takes any time but aside from that i've done two 20 minute recording sessions for example for to kind of show how quickly that this actually got done once we were there and when i was reading through the instructions a couple of days ago when we started i didn't actually think this was going to take too long and i do think as well with this one you could get away with using the provided coffee filters to do the strain um i'm just traumatized by coffee filters and i had this awful vision of being nearly there and then the coffee filter splitting and then having to start all over again but this is definitely one i would totally suggest getting the cocktail kit for. I think this is really, really good fun. I'm not sure what's coming next. Um, if you look on their website, from what I've seen, this is it, there's three. I do know there's something else coming next though. So I do know there is another one on the way, but it's not listed on their website. I've emailed them. They haven't really given me any information about what that next cocktail is gonna be. So we shall see what that is when it arrives. But anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been an absolute blast. As always, if you enjoyed this video, go show that like button some good old fashioned love. And if you wanna support the channel, go hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss the next time I upload a video. Stay awesome, and I will see you all in the next video. If only I knew the spell for washing up already, I'd be like, do the washing up us. Pew, and then it would all be done and I wouldn't have to do it myself.